Now let's move on to the piece dimensions. We're gonna level up and we're gonna take our dimensions to the next level. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have two colors in my dimensions and I'm gonna have line weights in my dimensions. This is gonna show you exactly how like almost creative you could get with your graffiti. This changed how I thought about dimensions completely. So let's jump into it. I think it's gonna make more sense when I show you. So we're gonna have our brighter color closer to the letter and we're gonna have our darker color further away to show that depth. When you get this far in your piece, it becomes a lot easier to make mistakes and fix them. When you're doing dimensions, feel free to just really like splash color around without getting to your fill in. Your outline sort of becomes your safe zone where I could sort of like fade and do whatever I want because I'm gonna cut back with the outline again. I just went straight off of the tip, cut it back and just like really sort of matching the shape of my letter. In cases like this, I would actually just grab it from this corner, bring this out, and I'm gonna bring it out the same distance of this amount. I'm gonna bring that out just around there as well. I'm gonna bring that down and really just copy the shape of the letter. Copy it uh, while also keeping in mind that we want things maybe a little lower to the left because we're doing dimensions. Your lighter color is gonna be closest to the letter. And this is kind of a tricky area because we won't have much room to give dimension on the top of that C. It's not gonna be a lot much up here. Just add it where we can. Now I'm gonna grab my darker pink and finish the second half of the, of the dimensions. Really free flowing with it because even though it's getting on the outline, I already know I'm gonna cut back with that. So I'm not even worried about it. And I like to fade these, have like a soft fade, but you could hard line these and I'll show you how a hard line looks. So I have like a soft fade in this spot and this spot, but if I were to hard line it, this is how it would look. So the space where these two colors meet is gonna be a solid line instead of a fade. Let's move on. This will actually kind of be a, a cool spot where I, I could split this in half. I'll do this top half a soft fade and I'll do this bottom half hard line just to match sort of how everything else is going. So if you're playing this game and you want to get nice fades, the Feather Duster Cap does really well for soft blends. Feather Duster Cap and also adjust your pressure, high pressure, low pressure. That's going to help you a lot in this game. In real life, that's not going to help much because we don't have the power to control those things. So let's add a little bit more up here at the top. This is coming out really sick. If you guys like it, give it a thumbs up and drop a comment. Let me know what you think. We're gonna go back to our purple outline and we're just gonna clean all this up. So let's switch back to our outlining cap, which I'm using a New York fat, and let's start outlining the, this dimension.
nice and good without overdoing it. Keep it simple. And I'm actually gonna thicken up my outline just right here, just to really like exaggerate our dimensions. And I'm gonna leave them thin to show that it's like swooping back real fast. I almost don't even wanna put lines over this cause this looks so good just like that. I'm gonna hold off on that. Our outline's looking a little thin up here, but it's only because of how I did it. Um, let me just thicken this up a bit. I'm gonna keep this section a little simple. All right, so as you guys could see throughout this piece, I did the dimensions a little differently here and there just to show you the different ways, the different outcomes of your dimensions. This section, these two are similar where there's um, there's lines, it's very, a little bit more line heavy. These two are very empty to show you how that could look. And this is like a nice mixture of the two. I would also say just have fun with it. Be strategic, take a good approach, know how you wanna do it. In your dimensions, you could actually even add an extra a vertical line. Just by adding lines or subtracting lines, you could get drastic differences. It all depends on how you have your piece set up. This pretty much brings us to an end. So if you like this video, if you like the way I broke things down and how I explained them and you wanna see more, give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and as always, subscribe. Happy graphing, guys. Thanks. Peace.